For the next few days, I kept messaging Annalise. I asked her about her day, or recommended a book, and when I was really clever, I even sent a joke. But she didn't reply till my eighth message, that she needed time alone. So I stopped and just waited. eventually invited me to her place. I made her a kick-ass cup of coffee. Definitely the best one I've made for her so far. But then she sat me down and said that, actually, she just wanted to be friends. I smiled back to hide my disappointment. and approachability. The heartfelt discussions past 2 a.m. that only we could have. in shambles. led on by her. Now I'm trapped in this tunnel. My only way out is her. But she won't let me. you see? I'm the one who can make your life better. Please, just change your mind. Wrong. Oh, wrong. 
she's the only one who brought me joy. Only she can make everything good again. figured out what to do. Tomorrow night, I'll prove that I can make her happy. Hunter! The bloody demons actually attacked us. And we can't find Annalise. Maybe the demons took her further up the mountain. After them! Quickly! Time is short, Hunter. What do you need? After them! Time is short, Hunter. What do you need? them. We met up that night, her place. Just us two. We made dinner and had some interest, but eventually, we quieted down and sat at her dining table, reading books. Thank you. 
but after a while, instead of reading like I was supposed to, I got up and wrapped my arms around her from behind and gently. into her hair, caught a blend of seafoam cucumber and her mesmerizing natural scent. But she was silent, kept reading her book or something, and acknowledging. Seriously, what are you doing, Annalise? Don't you realize the powers you wield? Every inch of you, the hair, the lips, the clavicle, all drives me insane. A dangerous power indeed. So please, I'm begging you, let me feel all your glory. I'm an explorer of her uncharted terrain. I felt every hardened rise and tender crevice. My journey is to bring joy to her every corner. Yet she just sat there, silent and still unresponsive. Maybe she doesn't like this. No, of course not. She would have told me to stop. So, Annalise, let's enjoy this moment together. was not okay. What? After three weeks of silence, this is how he respond? That night, I froze. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how far you were willing to go. And that scared me, Daniel. So I want you out of my life for a while. Then she just left. No, 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 Annalise! Annalise, Annalise, please! Come back! Please, 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 why? 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 
I gave you more than you ever wanted, and this is how you respond? This is my repayment? It was so glorious and so beautiful and so perfect. So, so, so why, why do you have to ruin this? Why are you like this? Why? Why? Is this seriously what she thinks of me? Scary? A monster? But all these signs she dropped, our feelings must have been mutual. I just wanted to make her happy. But she betrayed my feelings. Oh. I get it now, Annalise. You manipulative bitch. You're back, Hunter. Great timing. It turns out that manipulative bitch Annalise was our problem all along. You see, the demons are attracted to spring growths and plants. Anything lively around the mountain. And this slut kept the whole garden in the back of her clinic. No wonder the demons barged right into town. She practically led him on by the nose this whole time. And seriously, what an overreacting drama queen she is! 
I mean, he didn't even get past second base. It's really not that bad. But anyway, in the end, I'm the one who has to clean up this mess still. Look around. These demonic arm walls are trapping us in here. But I know for sure that if we destroy her garden, burn it right down, the demons won't have a reason to be here anymore. The arm walls should come right down, and then we can go on with our lives. Here, I'll even give you my special magical flame. It'll drain every last drop of essence from her vile garden. So what do you say, partner? Excuse me? Now, I assure you that I know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'll entertain you for a minute. Tell me, smart hunter, how am I wrong? It's not her fault now? Not her fault for filling up the garden with demon attractants. Not her fault for emotionally tangling Daniel. Not her fault for tempting him that night. She played him like a fiddle. Look, she didn't react negatively in the heat of the moment. So she must have liked it. All that attention just for her. And then she pulls a bait and switch like she always does. If anything, I'd say Daniel was the victim here. Of course I'm right. Now, back on topic. Yes, a fine choice. Off to the garden you go now. Back already. I've told you the demon. Not until you. So hurry back to work now, partner. Godspeed, hunt. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Every last existence of her erased. We're free. Well, that's peculiar. The walls of arms still aren't going away. That doesn't make sense. There's no way I miscalculated this. Excuse me? Now, I assure you that I know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'll entertain you for a minute. Tell me, smart hunter, how am I wrong? I see that you won't back off, hunter. Huh. <laughs> 
clearly you won't listen to reason. I, Carlton, will protect Daniel from you, you fiend. You got from afar, but you haven't faced anything like me. You stand no chance against the power of my mind and magic. Come at me, Foul Hunter. I will put you in your place. So you think I'm just going to idle around while you rip the land to shreds? You think you got something, partner? Let me show you what true power is. This wasn't her fault. I did this. I hurt her. I scared her. I ruined everything. So, dear hunter, do you see what I am now? A fucking monster. Disgusting. I deserve this. 